Here's an introduction to Parcel Enhancements for Civil 3D 2010. I'm Dana Probert, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Engineering at Autodesk. So I wanted to give you a little introduction to the user interface enhancements for Parcel Creation. I have some um, pre, pre-subdivided bits here and I want to cut them into, into smaller lots. So I'm going to come up under Parcels on that Home tab of the ribbon and pick Parcel Creation Tools. In the dialog, remember to push the little arrows, the little chevrons to see the rest of the options. Um, I have options for my minimum area and for my minimum frontage. So we've seen these before. What's new here is, first of all, we have a nice picture that tells us what's happening. Um, some, you'll see improvements like this all throughout Civil 3D 2010. And then I also get the option for minimum frontage and offset. So the graphic gives me a clue as to what the setting does. And this is, let's say you have a building restriction line or some other setback line where your actual frontage is measured. So this is something people have been asking for for a while. So I can say use minimum frontage and offset and then set how deep I, that building restriction line or setback line is. So I'll set five meters. Minimum width, um, this is new. How wide, you know, do you want that minimum, minimum lot size? And then minimum depth, you know, how far is that width measured? So very useful when you're going around um, curves and that sort of thing where your, um, your width may be a little bit different as you get deeper into the lot. Um, I can use a maximum depth, so if I don't want it to, you know, shoot all the way back um, until forever, I can put in an option there. And if there's two solutions, and I'll show you this in action, um, do, it, do I want to use the smallest area or do I want to use the shortage, shortest, shortest frontage? So I'll leave it for smallest area for now. And let me just do one real quick where I'll leave it on redistribute remainder. I'll pull down the button and pick slide angle create. Choose my style options. Um, small change, notice how it asked me to pick the parcel to be subdivided and had me pick the label, so a little bit of an improvement there. And I'll just draw my frontage line from here all the way over to there. I get a nice interactive graphic that gives me a guide just to, to tell me what it's choosing as the uh, that frontage line. I can select a bearing and I get a preview here of what the parcels are going to look like with little dimensions at each of those key places I set. So if I decide to change it to, let's say, a 12 meter minimum frontage, I'll get a new preview. Or a 20 meter minimum frontage, or go back to 10. Okay. So that's really nice. You can play around with all of the different, um, different options to see what your result would look like. And I'll just press enter to accept the result. And there we go. Okay. So now when I go around the big piece, let's look and see what some of those uh, previews will give me this time. So I'm going to say parcel, parcel creation tools. My settings um, are going to stay the same. So I'll pull down and say slide, ang slide angle create. Notice how I don't have to think quite as much about those settings as I did as I used to because I can change them on the fly. So I'll get my preview. Okay. So let's say I chose um, use, shortage f use shortest frontage instead, and I get one of those weird slices around the corner. So maybe you try use shortest, use shortest frontage the first time you did it, and now you can pull this down and say use smallest area and see if you like the results better. So just some of the things that were challenging um, in the user interface with parcels before, now I get a little more control, there'll be a little less erasing. Um, involved to get the perfect parcel. And let me just use my match properties to make those labels the same. And there we go.